What's good, people? It's your boy Chef from Off the Dome back in with another video. And today we're talking about Tank, of course. But before the video starts, you already know what I'm going to ask you to do. So you might as well just do it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment. Helps the channel out. We got new videos coming for you every single day. So just look out for your boy Chef. And Tank, the RB singer that's been around based since the early 2000s. Has some decent records. I haven't listened to all of them, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge R&B fan, but when I do listen to R&B, I listen to them. basically the TGT. I listen to Genuine Tank, Tyrese. I listen to Avon. I listen to Lil Marcus Houston. I listen to Alicia Keys, of course. I listen to Lil India Art, Lil Bell. I haven't even listened to all album. I like her voice. Lauren Hill could be sold for some time. So I do dab on R&B and Shanti, of course. Stuff like that. And for current artists, you know, I already know I'm with the Doc Hui stuff and with the LMI stuff. It's cool. But... There was a lot of controversy about the tank saying that if a man gets his dick sucked, he's not gay. It's like, okay, I would see a lot of people saying, yes, it is gay, especially if you allow it to happen, blah, blah, you're not experimenting, you're not doing none of that. And I agree. That's pretty homo-ish. That's basically what it is. And now we see why he did it. He dropped the album uh, this Friday, I believe. No, last Friday. Yeah, last Friday he just dropped the album. And it all goes back to the Pusha T trick. It all goes back to the Jar 150 Cent stuff. It all goes back to the Big Mill beefs. It goes back to all these things. One people don't understand MGK Eminem last year. People say outrageous stuff all the time. They do outrageous things all the time. Because they usually have a new product to sell you or even something for you. They just want to have their name in a public period. Soldier Boy, the case was he was... He's 28 years old, and he hasn't been relevant since 2010, so he has to do outrageous things. I guess MGK is, he was releasing his binge. Probably was going to be an album, but they made an EP once they realized that he had enough tracks and wanted to realize that he might be projected to make as much as they said he would. Same thing with the Meek Mill Drake stuff. The Meek Mill Drake beef started, and uh, then Meek Mill dropped um, Dream Chasers, um, not Dream Chasers, MC4. So, no, no, Dream, yeah, that's what I meant. That's, that's Prince Montana. DC4, he dropped that. You have multiple people doing all types of things. The Tank, he's an R&B singer. He has been relevant to an extent. He had Wimby last year, which is probably his best-selling song in a while. And he knows that he needs something to follow it up with. He knows he wants to make a big splash back in the mainstream. So what better way than to, one, go with the LGBTQ whatever agenda. Two, to be known as this sexual icon and R&B and say such a thing like this, to have his sexuality questioned, but have a lot of people Googling his name at the same time. You know, it's the same thing with the Tyrese. He crying, all that stuff. Child support. What more will you want from me? All that stuff. And it boosted his profile a bit. People were talking about him already with Fast and Furious. He already had no one debut an album with Black Rose. That went viral. They got people talking about him even more. Sometimes you do it subconsciously, sometimes you do it consciously. I think Tank did it consciously because he knows that at the age he's at and that the status he's at in the game, he wants to have that album that goes gold and platinum, and he wants to have another single reach the success of when we and go platinum once again. So that's all I got to say. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Do you think that Tank did this as a publicity stunt just to get people to buy his new album that he just dropped? Or do you think that he honestly feels the way he do I don't think he does. I think he just wanted to get his album sales up. And it might work, it might not, because as you can tell with the YKO Cyrus trolling and saying he's the king of R&B, his album sales didn't go up. As you can tell with Lil' Kim, her album sales didn't go up. As you can tell with YG, his album sales didn't go up. So sometimes antics don't work. But with Tank, I think since he has talent, he is a talented singer. I think since he has talent, he has that decent core female audience, and now he might have a couple of new you know, rainbow fans now since he said something to protect them. Maybe he might get an extra 3K in sales because that's going to be nothing major. Don't get, don't, get, don't get this wrong. This isn't anything major. His album probably will still only do probably 52K first week. It's not going to be a 100K album just because he said this. I hope y'all know. Trolling like that requires 6 9 type of level of trolling. We have to do it constantly for about six months to a year and then drop your album. And it has to be good trolling. It has to be good statements. It has to be good out of control stuff you say. But that's all I got to say. It's your man Chef from Off The Dome. I'm signing out. Peace.